responsible alumni of my alma mater. I commit myself to raise the bar of excellence in my chosen career by continuing to update and educate myself in the practice of my profession. I commit myself to put into practice the code of ethics and the standard of nursing practice as I provide care to my clients. Congratulations to our new nurses. Thank you, Dean Rojas. We now request Honorable Thurman Sita Emma Buffy, Chairman, Board of Nursing, for her message to be followed by the formal oath taking of our new nurses. The BITs at the presidential table, our guest of honor, Dr. Ruth Anna Padilla, my bondmates, the president, and uh, the national president of PNA, the officials of PNA, the new nurses. Are, who are here now, deans of the colleges of nursing, the officers, representatives of the various nursing organizations, our for our celebrants and honorees for this afternoon, dear parents, loved ones, and uh, benefactors of our honorees, a pleasant good afternoon to all of you. Dean Elizabeth Rojas, President of the PNA, who is representing the Academy the deans, school officials, and faculty members have sacrificed so much just for you to be here in this ceremony. This oath-taking ceremony is a significant milestone in your lives as registered professional nurses. Please be reminded that an oath is a solemn promise a commitment, and you are now going to publicly acknowledge the duties that you owe to the people, to our society, and to God. Thus, you become an indispensable instrument in the effective and responsive delivery of quality care and the promotion of public health and well-being. Henceforth, much is expected of you. So remain true to your professional oath, not just in words, but in action. Not just today or tomorrow, but always. You are now our partners in the caring profession. Always remember that you're caring for the whole person and that your client's responses will vary depending on an interplay of various factors. Thus, a holistic perspective should be taken into consideration by state your name and residence. Hereby solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the Philippines. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. 
that I will obey the laws, legal orders, and executive orders. Promulgated by the duly constituted authorities of the Republic of the Philippines. And that I impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily. Without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. I further solemnly swear that at all times and places, I will adhere closely to the ethical and professional rules generally accepted by the nursing profession in the Philippines, and that I will well and faithfully discharge to the best of my ability the obligations and duties incumbent upon a legally authorized nurse practitioner. So help me God. Congratulations to our new colleagues. Baby request again, Chairman of the Board of Mercy, Dr. Carmen Cidero Wakim, to introduce our keynote speaker. 